Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Dead Island Definitive Edition for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. Dead Island is a survival horror action role-playing game developed by Techland. The game sees you play as a survivor caught up in a zombie outbreak that starts out on an island resort. The Definitive Edition features the main campaign and the DLC Rider campaign and you can play solo or cooperatively online. So, what is the game like to play? Well, you start by selecting a survivor who is resistant to the virus, then you're thrust into a zombie outbreak in a beachside hotel. In the beginning, you're scavenging for basic weapons, health items, and anything that can help you survive the early zombie attacks. The game adopts a primarily melee-based system, but you can get ranged weapons as the game progresses. Your actions are restricted based on the stamina bar. You can craft new weapons or mod existing ones to make more effective killing machines. But the weapons have durability ratings, so you'll have to keep a few options on you at all times, otherwise you'll have to use your fists. As you progress, you can expand your skill tree in three different areas to improve your various skills to help you survive. The enemies are as varied as most zombie games. You have slow, useless ones, runners, exploders, and some ferocious behemoths later on in the additional chapters. The basic zombies on their own aren't too tough, but get surrounded by three or four and you are in trouble. The game world is beautiful and aside from the zombies, it looks like a great holiday destination. It feels like a lived in world that's a realistic representation of a post-apocalyptic scenario. There's abandoned cars, lone survivors and zombies everywhere eating people and it's just really kind of horrific. The game features vehicles which really alleviate the difficulty of getting around. You can fast travel as well and form a survival group to try and escape as you progress through the beach, cities, jungles and even a prison later on in the game. But aside from the survival combat, it's a game about looting, scavenging for supplies and using these items to craft and mod weapons to help you kill the zombies. Ultimately, it strikes the right balance between fun, challenge and survival horror. Visually, the game looks good and the environments are well detailed and well lit. The zombies and character models are pretty good and overall it's a very good looking game. Not quite up to the dying light standards, but it's not far off. In terms of sound, the voice acting is okay, albeit a little bit average at times. The music, sound effects and ambience all fit very nicely though, and they really help you immerse into the intense and terrifying world. Okay, what's good and what's bad? What's good? It's one of the best zombie survival games I've ever played. The looting, scavenging and crafting system works perfectly. The melee combat is satisfying, it's great value for money with lots of gameplay and it's a thoroughly enjoyable adventure from start to finish. What's bad? The game does have a little bit of a slow start and it would have been nice to have some more ranged weapons in the early game. Okay, so what is the verdict? Dead Island Definitive Edition is one of the premier zombie survival games available today. The game world feels realistic and lived in and the challenge and progression system are well paced. It's a fantastic game, very atmospheric, satisfying and a good value package that you can enjoy solo or cooperatively. If you enjoy Dying Light then you will love Dead Island. It's zombie apocalypse gold and a game I would strongly recommend you check out. For me I've always been a fan of zombie movies and I've always been waiting for zombie games that kind of capture that sense of the classic zombie movies like the George Romero ones. Dead Island was probably one of the first one of the best ones that really captured that sense of a living world in a zombie apocalypse and it's a bloody good game. So my score for Dead Island Definitive Edition is 9 out of 10. Okay that was the review, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.